Hi YouTubers, this is Jan. Um, this is my first video about the 18650 cells. I've started uh, this yeah, hobby a couple of months ago when I learned what 8650 cells were and what you could do with it. Um, the ones I have are mostly from uh, battery packs from uh, e-bikes and also from laptop battery cells. I have found that the e-bike ones, they are maybe a little bit lower capacity, but overall they are much better quality and less used. I have found that in the e-bike uh, cells, or in the e-bike batteries better say, um, it's often the BMS which has gone bad and not the cells, which is the opposite I think with um, the cells from laptop batteries. Today this package came in, it's something which I ordered on eBay, but uh, yeah, it's coming from, uh, from China. Inside, it's well packaged. We have uh, the battery impedance meter. It's a little meter, just like you have the voltage meter, but then uh, dedicated to measuring the impedance. As you can see this is a meter which uh, looks a bit like a voltage meter. Uh, you can also measure the voltage but I have bought it because I want to measure the impedance of my 18650 batteries. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit difficult but with one hand I think I can do it. When you pull off the cover you can open this and put a 9 volt battery inside of it. 9 volt battery of course that's something I have to look for because that's not used in a lot of devices uh, and secretly I hoped that they delivered uh, one with it. As you can see I have found a 9 volt battery I just just took it out of my multimeter so these, this one we are not, not gonna need for now um, so as you can see when we turn it on we go to home and we can switch it to volts this is uh, for batteries up to 2 volts here we can go to 20 volts and to 100 volts so for our purpose it's gonna be the 20 volt settings yeah so uh, what's also special about this meter is that it takes measurement due to a double cable measurement. So um, for the voltage measuring it's not important but for the impedance met measuring yeah, uh, one, of the uh, one of the two cables is used for the voltage and the other one is used for the impedance. So, in that way, it can be measured in one step. So, it's very easy. We have a red and a black one. So, if we want to test, of course, the black is for the negative, the red is for the positive. So, here we can see that it varies between 50, 60, so the impedance is about 50, 60, and we take another battery, it's also between, no, sorry, between 60, no, I need to get it right. Forty fifty, yeah. If we switch it to another setting, you see we only get we get the same reading when we go to twenty ohms. It 
it's getting the same reading but not fine enough when we go to voltage like this it says 3.7 uh, volt so that's okay when we go back we have 40 50 um, milli ohms so I wanted to know if this uh, little device was somewhat uh, correct so what I did was I took this resistor it's a 5 watt 7.5 um, milli ohm resistor when I put it on, uh, on this setting in ohms okay and I connect we see a reading of of one that means we have to change this setting still one so an overmeasure, we change it again, and here we should see what's the actual, so we get 7.17, 7 7.18, yeah, so 7.2 let's say, and here we have 7.5, so there's a slight deviation, uh, but the, qu the question is, is it this one or is it the meter? because I have uh, several of these and they are not all the same so there is deviation but we can see that it's quite uh, quite good what I would like to do now is use uh, the Opus BTC 3200 and with the quick test I want to see what it gives it takes about 10 seconds the measurement is 111 I'm gonna take it out put it in again the same battery and the chance chances are that the value will be quite different so 82 I'll take it out now and the same one I'm gonna try uh, with the meter and it says oh, it's a bit hard with one hand sorry put it to 20 volts and we have a result of Sixty. Let's do that again. A result of sixty again. So there's a deviation between the opus. Let's try it again. We had already one hundred eleven and something in the eighties. Now it gives eighty-two. So there's a deviation. What must be said is that. Um, for this little device yeah uh, it has already calculated that the internal resistance of the of this little machine and the cables they are already deducted so the values uh, should apply to the battery alone to the cell alone and not to the cell plus the machine so i think all what's left I start measuring all the cells which are here and it's said that it's best measured when they are full capacity so uh, now most of these are uh, at 3.7 volts because that was the voltage which I wanted to make my packs but uh, I think I will uh, do some tests um, charge them to 4.2 then do the new capac the the new um, 
impedance uh, test and see if that changes. If it does change, then I'll have to do everything um, at 4.2 volts. If it does not change, then I can leave it at 3.7 and I'll probably measure everything at 3.7. Okay, so thank you very much uh, for watching my first video. I hope it was useful and um, my next 18650 video will come soon. Thank you. Bye.